how that um i haven't been able to do much flying videos lately um but i thought i'd do a, another prop test uh well comparison test i thought i'd test the apc against T, uh, tgs and jxf the gas props do a thrust test see what uh, see what the difference is do a comparison um i'm going to be testing them on my thrust rig with where is it the emacs 28 22 uh simple outrunner cheaper chips thing and a 1300 milliamp gen zace 3 cell uh, test them on the watt meter and the thrust rig uh these props they do look vastly different there's um quite a bit of difference the uh, JXF, the JXF and the APC prop, they both measure exactly eight inches. Uh, they're all eight by four props, and yeah, the JXF and the APC both measure exactly eight inches. The TGS prop uh, measures eight inches and two fifths of an inch. So they are. It's slightly longer. I've always wondered why you get a bit more thrust out of a TGS prop. Um, and it is because they're never exactly what they say the length is. I've had quite a, I've measured quite a few and they're always longer than what they say they are. So yeah, the, the TGS is 8 inches and 2 fifths of an inch long. Compared to the other two which are exactly 8 inches. Uh, yeah, the JXF prop in the middle, that is a gas prop. Uh, the other two are electric. The Well, the APC prop, it's a APC clone, or as they call it, uh, you know, style prop, as they say. So it isn't an official APC prop. But, um, yeah, I'll be testing them out. I'll be recharging the battery after each test to make sure it's fair. And... I'll be putting the props on in a sec when I come back and checking what the thrusts and amps and watts they draw. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, first propeller on the motor is the APC style prop 8x4. Let's uh, do a thrust test on the 28-22 1200kV motor. Six amps, 117.7 watts, and that is with the APC style 8x4 prop. I think it peaked at about what was that 590, 590 grams of thrust. Okay, I shall go next with the TGS prop. I think. Okay, next prop is the TGS uh, 8x4 prop. These are the ones that come in the EMP or EMP packaging. And same size, 8x4. The, T, uh, the APC prop, I went back, done 604 grams of thrust. And then dropped down to 591. I've topped the battery back up. I have uh, balanced these props. But um, I'm getting quite a bit of a wobble. It's probably because the... Prop the shaft, the motor shaft hasn't been cut down, it's sticking out quite a bit there, and they're only 3mm shafts, so they probably end up wobbling quite a bit. So let's uh, see how this works. <laughs> thrust uh, 
a bit more of a power output as well. We've got 12.5 amps, 148.8 watts. So it's, it's a fair difference. Okay, let's, uh, next up I'll try the TGS gas prop. See what difference that makes. Okay, next propeller I've got the JXF gas prop on there now. Uh, the TGS uh, electric prop got uh, was it a peak of 640 grams, and then it quickly dropped down to about 610 grams of thrust. But uh, let's see what this one does on the JXF gas prop. as the TGS prop a bit more than the APC prop and let's see what the power was only 9.9 .9 amps and 119 watts so there you go okay that was the comparison of all those 8x4 props uh, choose whichever one you want. Bye. Hello, right, I thought I'd uh, continue with my prop comparison test on the smaller, much smaller props. I'm testing the 4.75 by 4.75 size props. I have a APC one here and a TGS one here. Uh, again, the APC weight uh, measured exactly four and three quarter inches. The TGS measures uh, one sixteenth of an inch over four and three quarter inches, so it's a fraction longer. Okay, I'm testing this on an Emax helicopter motor. It's thirty two hundred kV. And on a Gen's Ace 2200 milliamp 3 cell. Yeah, prop down. This one's all on there, ready to go. So let's see the thrust and output difference. grams of thrust went down a little bit that's 37.96 amps and 440 watts on the APC I have actually ran this motor with a 6x5 TGS prop <laughs> and that was that was quite fun over ramping the motor quite a bit but it worked Okay, I'll stick the uh, the 4.75 by 4.75 TGS prop on next, and we'll do a test with that one. Okay, I've got the TGS 4.75 by 4.75 prop now, there now. The APC prop gave me 618 grams peak, and dropped down to about 590 grams after that. So let's test the TGS prop out. I'll top the battery back up. Let's see what thrust we get. That is a hell of a difference of thrust there. 407 watts and what's the amps 35 amps so that was a hell of a lot more thrust and it's pulling less amps that's something I've noticed 
with all my motor tests is comparing TGS against APC props uh, six inches and below the TGS props far far outperform the uh, APC props uh, and the six inches and below uh, but once you go to seven inches and above the APC then outperform the TGS which is strange um, I wish TGS done a, a, a bit more varied different sizes between six inches and uh, seven inches they should they, they really should I mean they're amazing but once you get up to a certain size they're they're, they're so much different um, see if I can just pick up uh, I mean that difficult with it on up there I mean that's a 4.75 4.75 and then you go to a 7 inch and the, the, the size of the blades is ridiculous the width of them so ridiculous so they become they just draw so much more current but like I said 6 inches and below the TGS are far far superior to the APC props um, and then above that it's the other way around but uh, I mean you saw there the amount of thrust you got more compared to the, the amount of thrust you got from the APC props um, unlike some people think uh, the higher wattage output of a motor does not mean more thrust it just means uh, if you've got the same size prop and one's drawing more current than the other then it's just it means it's more inefficient it, it's not running very efficiently so these TGS props six inches and below are just unbelievably efficient compared to the APC so there you are that's all my prop tests for today and yeah I, I highly recommend TGS six inches and below but then above that the uh, I think the APC are, are, are better on seven seven inches and above and the the JXF props are also uh, a lot more efficient on uh, seven inches and above I, I tested uh, one motor which was a very powerful motor on uh, four cell and uh, it was it was with that seven inch uh, TGS prop which is a seven by four point five and it it was on four cell very powerful motor it hit it hit 99 amps and then I went to a seven by four JXF gas prop and that only drew 63 amps so that's quite a difference so I mean, uh, although that's electric prop, and it, I think I was running just way too much power for an electric prop. As soon as you start going over a thousand watts, really, you need to use um, gas props because they 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 just more rigid and they become more efficient at high RPM. So there you are. That's my prop test. See you again soon. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some flight footage on some of my planes soon. Okay, I'll be doing that hopefully in the next couple of weeks got a few planes to get some footage out some nice fast planes and I shall see you then bye bye